the conda man um the dark heart yeah <laughs> home, of, home of, the, of the trap museum right my yeah exactly man my respects yeah pay Ooh. your respects exactly man a DeKalb County man has a violent run-in with some suspected car thieves after he spots him driving his girlfriend's stolen car. He got into a shootout with the suspects. It happened in a neighbor. I mean, just that right there. Okay, fine. He sees him. Say he shoots a fucking kid in a home a block away. Exactly. Twenty-five thousand dollar bond. Because he, you know, he saw the guys with his. I mean, it still got to be some responsibility for firing, discharging a weapon in the public. The whole self defense thing is predicated on having like a justified conflict going on where, you know, it's just, like you said, it's not built with this kind of shit in mind. Yeah. And I get it. I get it. If he's a street guy and he sees his fucking girlfriend's car, somebody driving his girlfriend's car, and. You know what I'm saying? I get it. You know, that's how he handles things. But that's how they handle things. And the law can't. The, it's, it's, it's fuzzy because the law got to compensate for this because the law that, wasn't made with this in mind. And I, I think it's important to keep in mind that say he saw the stolen car and they pointed a gun at him and he opens fire, he hits a kid. That's still unacceptable. Exactly. Exactly, man. A DeKalb County man has a violent run-in with some suspected car thieves after he spots him driving his girlfriend's stolen car. He got into a shootout with the suspects. It happened in a neighborhood off Panthersville Road in South DeKalb this morning. Fox News' Deidre Dukes has the details. The stolen Kia riddled with bullets after the victim spotted someone driving his girlfriend's stolen Kia in this quiet neighborhood. Bang, bang, bang. So this quiet neighborhood, these people now have to have, have bullets whizzing through their windows. Hood. Bang, 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 bang. Sounds of a running gun battle. Shots rang out on Clippin Farm Drive at around 8 Friday morning. I think I heard about maybe six shots let off in succession. Like, do, 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 do. Then a pause. And then like another shot or two. Three suspected car thieves opened fire on another vehicle. After that, driver saw them driving his girlfriend's red Kia. Alana Williams said the car was stolen out of her driveway earlier in the day. My boyfriend called me. He was on the way to work and he was like, hey, I see your car. And I was just like, they can't be that dumb. Like, no way. And um, came back up here he said that they were shooting at him so he shot back resident stunned they can't be that dumb to drive a car that's stolen that'd be like walking outside with a fucking pot on your head yeah man bonnet bonnet tricia she's she <laughs> seems to, she seems to think that like it's it's crazy how sisters they birth these guys they date these guys and their understanding of the situation on the ground is just so fucking, um, like, naive and novel. It's, it's almost like you guys, you old, you boomer gliders. I think sisters got less of an understanding than you guys. And they say running gun battle. They mean literally. They're probably actually running while they're shooting. Yeah, this is this is this is this is bad, man. She doesn't understand. CA says the container store now carries cracker barrels. So you can easily control, sort, and organize your gliders for easy handling and efficiency. All right, I'm gonna try to check out the container. Hey, I, 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 I shit you not. I heard a public defender once say that his the the dude the son man couldn't have stolen the car because he doesn't have a license, so he can't drive. <laughs> I shit you not. I, in the courtroom on the record. <laughs> In the day. My boyfriend called me, he was on the way to work, and he was like, hey, I see your car. And I was just like, they can't be that dumb, like, no way. And um, came back up here. He said that they were shooting at him, so he shot back. Residents stunned something so violent could happen here. This is a good neighborhood. I love all my neighbors. Everybody speak. We look out for one another. That's that's not that's not what usually go on over here. It's a, it's a good neighborhood. These people these days, they just ruthless. <laughs> They really root for it, and it just don't make no sense. They are thankful no one was caught in the crossfire. Well, these are the hours kids are going to school, people going to work. 
You know, that's not something that typically we experience over here. One of the suspects was grazed by a bullet. All three suspects taken into custody, charged with aggravated assault and auto theft. In South DeKalb, Deeper Dukes, Fox 5. So all three of them were in custody. And, it, <laughs> and they're stunned that it can happen. I mean, Straight rootless. Really? Well, and then the cars I mean, are filled with bullet holes day. and nobody got hit. Yeah. Um, in the Army, for 200 years, Kia has meant killed in action. How fucking prophetic. Yeah, let, let's see. Let's see. What, this Thank film you so much for joining us. I'm Keith Jones. We'll get to those tributes, of course, to the officer in just a minute. But first, the search for suspects in the Strawberry Mansion mass shooting. Gunfire erupted just before 6 o'clock, happened at 31st and Norris Streets, which is right near the James G. Blaine School. A mother and her two-year-old were hit. The other victims are all teenagers. Minutes ago, police released surveillance pictures of three men wanted in... Right. That's what it looks like, man. That's what it looks like. And most people don't even know this happened yesterday. Because it didn't get any national attention, this mass shooting. A mother well, because and five it happens teens. every day. A mother, five teens, and a two-year-old shot near a school. Look at that. That's that's terrifying. That's three different gunmen, right? Yeah, it was three of them. Three that's, bad guys, one good guy, so four. The driver got out. This is the driver right here. He got out to shoot. I've seen this on several videos. Now, where the driver gets out and shoots. And that's around Temple, too, isn't it? Yeah, it's not far from Temple. And then, and then look how they're shooting, like, so recklessly. You know, like, they don't really care if they hit their target, it almost seems like. Well, that's clear from they didn't hit their target. They hit a bunch of little kids. In connection with the shooting, all of them wearing black, all of them armed. Police are also looking for the gray Hyundai Elantra in the pictures. NBC 10's Leah Uko is live outside Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Leah, what are you hearing tonight? And also, any word on those kids? Now, Keith, we know two of these seven victims are here at Children's Hospital. And as of tonight, police say it's too early to tell, but they are looking into the determination if this shooting was done out of retaliation. All this needs to stop. So far, it hasn't. Multiple shootings have happened this week in Philadelphia. Two of them ended with teenagers in the hospital. All of this happening while people mourn the death of a local officer who was also gunned down five days ago. More than 30 shell casings here at 31st and Norris Streets in Strawberry Mansion. Philadelphia police say seven people were shot just before six this evening. Five of the victims are teens, ages ranging from 13 to 17. I saw one of the kids that was shot. He just wanted to get to his parents. And I just was like, it's an ambulance right here. Get in the ambulance. The two other victims, a 31-year-old woman and her two-year-old child. All these individuals were standing behind us on the corner. There were some people inside of a vehicle. There were some people on the sidewalk uh, when the shooters approached. Uh, we don't believe that all of the victims at this point were intended targets. Commissioner Danielle Outlaw says this area of the 22nd District is relatively quiet, but also noted that recently the department assigned more officers to several districts, including this one, where they've seen crime spike over the last three years. She says they'll continue to enforce the law and called on adults to do the same. Our shooters are getting younger and younger. Our victims are getting younger and younger, and they have guns. If you know that this young person has a gun, of course it's illegal, in your home, you can report that. You can do that anonymously. Uh, you can call 911, whatever it is. But we have to get the guns out of the hands of these young people. Officers cleared most of the scene in two hours. This neighborhood, seemingly calm, but fear and frustration is still here. It frightens me to even want to step out and speak. Whoever has the money to get out of the community, you know, that we live in, because they're trying to get us out of here anyway. Just go somewhere else. Heard that? Heard that? <laughs> gliders, man, we coming, we coming to a city near you, Gliders. What gets me is they uh, 
have so many shootings, they can't even move around enough evidence markers. This time, they just drew circles around them in chalk. Yeah. Those evidence markers are pretty expensive. I looked it up, like, for, like, a pack of, like, 100. It's, like, I think, like, $57 or something like that. Yo, Philly's going through it between the Super Bowl and the Sun, man. Shit. Yeah, man. It's rough, man. It's rough in Philly, man. This guy, man, how many guys um looking forward to a bunch of um these guys rolling up in your neighborhood, man, moving up in your neighborhood, man? Right. All I heard him was saying, go to Wyoming. Yeah, he's like, man, he's getting up out of there, man. He's 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 not even saying, get you know, up. He's telling other people, if you can, if you got some money, get the fuck out of here. And I trust yeah, it's too this cold guy, here man. to protest. I, I trust this guy, though, man. I mean, he, I, I, this guy looks very, very believable, man. I, I'm sure. I, I bet he knows a lot more than what we than, than what we know about the situation on the ground, man. He's saying, if you got some money, get the fuck out of here. And I can't take that mixed uh, police chief seriously. <laughs> yeah, man, she's a. She's a um. She's out here doing her best, man, with with the job that y'all have given her, man. Y'all th y'all thrust this upon her, man. She is there's no other time. Well, she begged her. for it. She moved in from other places. Didn't she come from Louisville or something? Fail no, she's Louisville? from Portland. She's from Portland. Portland. She's Portland. from Portland. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why my um. My videos are not. I'm trying to. Um, maybe I gotta. Maybe I gotta. Um, fucking erase them. Let me see if that works. But then. I, let me see what's up. Is it sorting them oldest to newest or newest to oldest? Oh, I had to erase some. I think I had 